Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and this is actually a video I took a few weeks back. Uh, it was actually re near the beginning of March, and it was the first time I had taken up the uh, um, Mavic Air 2 this year. Uh, until and throughout the winter, uh, I found it a lot easier to use the uh, the Mini 2 <clears throat> because, uh, for one thing, I got a, an old uh, Mini 1 battery, and so you can charge it up and leave it, and then when you need to jump out there and get a quick video, you don't have to worry about whether you got the battery charged or not. So uh, I'm, I uh, decided, well, what's happened is, uh, as the weather gets warmer, my cell phone starts to dim with the Arizona temperatures and so uh, it makes it so it's harder to see the screen and the mini uh, the uh, Mavic 2 uh, I'm sorry the Mavic Air 2 um, uh, runs off of the smart controller and the smart controller just gives you a nice bright screen and so <laughs> yeah, you know it's about all I have ch uh, choice down here where the temperatures get pretty hot so then I can still fly relatively uh, easily because I still have to fly in the morning because it does get super super hot so this is my uh, I'm testing out things and making sure I remember how to fly that uh, drone and so I'm going along here just uh, uh, playing with things like right here I decided I would change from the map to the uh, the o aircraft orientation display so uh, I switched over to that and uh, see how that works. Well, anyway, I said I had a story. And in the last couple of videos, I've been telling you about my sailing experiences. And so uh, in this video, I'll start telling you about my own sailboat that I bought when I was in my 30s, I guess. And uh, it was a 23-foot Aquarius. And I'll see if I can find some of my pictures, but there's a picture of one somebody else owns. <laughs> and it was a nice uh, boat. It, you could sleep five people in it. It had a galley, and it had an area for a head, which means that you put a, a portable toilet in there, plus uh, plenty of bed space. So it was a beautiful uh, sailboat for, for family use. The one thing that I don't like about the smart controller is you'll notice up in the corner, the range of the smart controller is much, much less than the range of the Mini. The Mini could fly on down here further down this road and uh, keep taking videos. But uh, the, the uh, smart controller, the antennas point down to the ground and they still uh, radiate out, but uh, they're just that much closer to the ground, and the closer to the ground you are with an antenna, the less dis distance you're gonna get. So, let's get back to my story. So, uh, I got a 23-foot Aquarius sailboat, <clears throat> and uh, uh, hauled, it home from Port hauled, it in hauled it home to Pasco, Washington, from Portland, Oregon, and uh, so it was just, you know, it was my pride and joy, because I've always loved loved boats and especially sailboats so uh, <clears throat> I took it out and uh, I think the first the first time that uh, as I'm trying to remember back until the into the 70s I think the first time I took it out we went up uh, we put it put the boat in the uh, Snake River just above Ice Harbor Dam which is near Pasco and then <clears throat> we sailed or motored because I can't remember for sure but I think we had to use the motor a lot up to um, and through uh, Lower, Monu La Lower Monumental Dam. And uh, so, because there was a little cove up in the lake above uh, Lower Monumental Dam, and uh, that was a nice place to, uh, to camp out. So <laughs> that was my first trip. But the only thing is, is I spent a lot, I mean, I went into debt for the boat. So when it came time to, uh, to buy uh, an auxiliary motor to put on the back, it didn't need to be any more than nine horsepower, so I found a nine horsepower Sea King at Sears. Now, this was back in the days when you go down to Sears, and they would have one on hand, and um, it was a lot different back then than, than nowadays. But uh, <clears throat> a Sea King was about the cheapest one I could find, <laughs> which was a mistake, but that's what I did. 
And so uh, the sea king uh, wasn't all that powerful. And as we came closer and closer to lower monumental dam, you know, after the water comes through the dam, you've got what's, you know, a river flow again. It gets dammed up on, on top of the dam. And then as it comes over the dam, you've got river flow. And so the closer we got to the, to the dam, the more, uh, the heavier the current was. And so um, it made it, you know, we were just, we were going slower than walking speed by the time we got up to the, to the entrance to the, to the locks that they have there. And so uh, <laughs> uh, it was, a, it was, once we got into the locks, it, you could move rapidly, but out in the current, you were fighting the current and it was, I think we were, by the time we got there, we were going slower than, than walking speed. So uh, anyway, so <laughs> then the next morning we get up and uh, we're going to head home and uh, we're, uh, we go to the, we'll come, come to the top of the dam where the lock is and I could tell we were almost, I mean, there was no, not much gas left in the gas can. And so <clears throat> um, nobody had gas at the, at the locks or anything. So we just had to be real careful and uh, use every bit of uh, breeze that we could. And so I wanted to follow this uh, earth mover because I like to watch those guys dig up the earth. So anyway, uh, we, uh, we managed to get through the lock. And now uh, I decided, you know, I think I'm using the wrong settings on my camera because I wanted to shoot in 60 frames per second. And um, notice I'm gonna go change the anti-flicker to 60, but uh, that was the wrong move to make. So then I went back to the screen and opened up the camera settings. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, I, I adjusted it so that I would have 60 frames. And of course my big old thing, my fingers are so clumsy that uh, it was hard to, uh, to get it to 60. I kept pushing the wrong thing in the wrong direction and it just took a long time. So uh, finally, I think I got it almost, there we go. So <clears throat> now I'm filming in 60 frames per second, but of course I had to turn off the camera to, to do that. So now we got the shots from the camera coming to us again. So uh, anyway, uh, so th we had to make it home. You know, we started going back down the Snake River, down toward where we uh, put the boat in at the, at the little park. And uh, we were doing, uh, you know, it was, took a long time because there wasn't any breeze. And I didn't want to use up all the gas uh, up further up the river. And there is a little bit of current even, even below the dam and above the next dam. There's a small amount of current. So we just kind of drifted because there just wasn't much wind. And uh, uh, now you notice how that stopped? This is why I stopped flying the... Uh, the smart controller last fall because it did that to me and so um, uh, I had no idea why and so as you can see I'm able to, to get it started again and uh, the, in the meantime the, the earth, earth mover has moved further away but this is where I decided I'm just gonna head home so anyway my sea keen motor uh, used a lot of gas we hardly got where we wanted to go and uh, so uh, that, that was uh, the first problem I had with Sea King Motors. <laughs> and the next time we had a problem with it, my, my brother brought some friends over from Seattle and uh, to, so we could go sailing. He brought them over on a Saturday. Well, it just happened that that Saturday there wasn't any wind, none at all. So we just hooked up the Sea King Motor and I gave him a, I gave him a tour of, of, of the, the shores and stuff along next to where the, we launched it from the park. And we came up to the beach and uh, got off and uh, sat in the sand and had fun like that. When we got ready to go again, I, uh, I put it into reverse. We pushed the boat out. I put it into reverse and it wouldn't come out of reverse. So <laughs> so we, back, we went backwards all the way back up the river and we came into where everybody was launching their boats on Saturday afternoon. And here comes this nice fancy sailboat backwards <laughs> because I couldn't get it out of reverse. And uh, so that's, uh, that's my problem with the Sea King motor. I have more stories about that.
But in the meantime, I just want to thank you for watching my videos. And God bless.